Former workers at the historic Neko factory are suing. They claim that the new owners acted illegally when they laid everybody off without notice. As WBZ's Ken McLeod shows us, the lawsuit comes as the city of Revere is trying to help those former employees find new jobs. They packed a meeting room at Revere City Hall today. Neko workers who abruptly lost their jobs last week. I was very shocked, and I'm still shocked. That's because the former employees say they were blindsided by the shutdown. They knew the company was in trouble and had been sold to Round Hill investors, but they thought they had another few months. They called us in, said, hey, um, as of 3 o'clock this afternoon, NECO ceases operations, and we're all just sitting there like, what happened? So Dexter Main and another NECO employee filed a class action lawsuit against the owners, claiming workers didn't get the 60-day notice they're entitled to by law. Nick Rosenberg is their attorney. What we allege in the complaint is that these employees weren't given that notice, um, and the operators and owners of the facility are required to pay them 60 days back pay. We believe that the way they did it was wrong, and we just want to correct that wrong and just do the right thing. What happened on Tuesday is shameful. But to complicate things, Revere Mayor Brian Arrigo says the new owner has actually resold the factory to a company that hasn't been named yet. The fact is that big money investors came in, didn't necessarily care about people. In the meantime, more than 200 people are out of work, so the city of Revere held a job fair for them today. About 30 companies have already contacted the city, interested in connecting with the former NECO workers, including legal seafoods boss Roger Berkowitz. We really need people. We need people that uh, you know have a long track record, as these people that uh, uh, who work at, at NECO have. We reached out to the company that bought NECO out of bankruptcy, looking for its response to the lawsuit, but we have not yet received one. Liam, Ken McLeod, live in studio. Thank you.